All right. I kind of finished up the laundry room. You don't need to watch the tutorial for the 50th time on how to put in cabinets. I think everybody understands that. But I did put in a backsplash, and I'll explain how I did that. And I also put a cabinet around the washer and dryer, which I thought looked nicer. And I put some cabinets underneath my island. I wanted to make sure that there was a uh, space here so people could sit with chairs. But it looked like these cabinets were too deep, so I changed them to just 12 inches by you know, editing the type. So let's go back to the floor plan and we'll talk about we'll talk about uh, putting in the backsplash. Uh, so here it is. I drew it as an extrusion. So I simply uh, went up to architecture, component, model in place. I said I was going to do casework again. Okay, and I said okay to that. And then uh, I drew my magenta line all the way around the uh, backs of the countertop. I stopped it right here and then I put in another one over there. I'm going to X out of that because uh, it's an extrusion. But here's, here's the extrusion. And these are the uh, properties of the extrusion. I said I wanted it to start at three feet because the uh, reference plane is automatically assumed to be the um, uh, floor when you're working in a floor plan. If you're in a section, then Revit will ask you to define the reference plane. And I said, start uh, at three foot six and go to three feet or either one, it's the same thing really. You can do say start at three foot six and end it, start at three feet and end at three foot six. You know, it's gonna do the same thing. Uh, it'll have the same result. And then I made it the porcelain so that's my reference or that's my extrusion around there it was pretty simple to do uh, and then let's grab this uh, and let's flip him around and take a look at it and the same thing occurred here i drew an extrusion that was three quarters of an inch thick on the sides and then i just drew it anywhere across the top to, and I just made an enclosure again so the magenta line encloses a specific thing and I uh, wanted to make sure that the top of this wood surround lined up with the cabinets and then uh, I looked at it this way and again I have grips and so I just grabbed that grip wherever it was, and I brought it out to the face of the uh, uh, washers and dryers. And that provided me with a very nice uh, surround. This is before I, dra I dragged it up uh, to line up with the cabinets, but uh, that gave me a nice surround there uh, around the cabinet. Just makes it look nicer than when you're looking at, uh, let's see if I have a picture of that. Uh, I don't, yeah, here we go. You can see how much nicer it looks with the cabinets around there than it did with just the washer and dryer just sticking out in that room. And that's a small uh, detail. So there you go. That's uh, the laundry room then.